The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, the Walmart version of Fred Durst. Uh, alongside me, as usual, we have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Scotty, I'd like you to do something for me. What's that? Take that introduction and shove it up your ass. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to. <clears throat> Why not? I don't want to. Fucking lazy ass. Yeah. You can't tell me what to do. I can. You don't have to do it, but I can. That's true. All right. Yeah, it's fine. It's America, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Freedom of speech. Okay. Also, another excellent stand comedian. We like to call him the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. I would love to bury you alive. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why not just kill me first? No, I want to hear it. I want to hear you suffer. Oh, wow. That's a lot of hatred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. That's what my therapist says. We're working some stuff out. Oh, I, br- I don't Just... know if you'd be on board, but I brought a shovel. <laughs> nah, good. Thank you. It's probably going to take a while because I don't have a lot of endurance. Oh, yeah. So that makes perfect sense. You might want to take your vacation. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, welcome in, guys, to another great episode. Uh, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Also, this is a, an adult podcast where we like to, uh, you know, use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you, in goodbye last but not least if uh jokes offend you you're doing it wrong so yeah we got a lot of stuff uh on the docket today right right there guys yeah yeah sure oh great love your enthusiasm maybe if you'd stop saying that shit what (laughs) Calling it a, a docket. <laughs> it's a fucking list. It's something you printed out probably on company paper. 100% I did. I'm sure they appreciate that. <laughs> they don't know. You're a fucking scofflaw, Scotty. <laughs> they care. didn't you're, know. You're a criminal. <laughs> you're <laughs> Send them a text. Oh, do that right now. I know your boss. <laughs> you're the printer paper bandit. <laughs> That's me. That's my new nickname. You are the world's worst I'm criminal. Sad. Yeah. I know. All right. <laughs> Thanks there, buddy. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Uh, we do. We got a lot of stuff uh, on the episode today to go over. We had a Does lot. Does pussy of... have two S's or three? Three. Okay, I spelled it right. There. Yeah, it does if you're doing it right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, if it has two S's, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, we do have a lot of stuff to go over. Um, we've got uh, some sports, overrated, underrated questions, and preguntas, another draft, and uh, yeah. But uh, draft like Vietnam. Yeah, I'm terrified. Okay. They're going to take me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of stuff. But before we get into the episode, uh, we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week. So, uh, Derek. What? What was your week, week, week? Cap? I can't even talk. Week, week, Did recap. you have a fucking stroke? What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, I did. The hell, he'll tell you about it on his recap. <laughs> I was guessing. Yeah, yeah that's did. right. The, I, I just, trip to the hospital. I uh, randomly couldn't feel the left side of my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah you know. It could be Bell's palsy. <laughs> Let's yeah. find out. It very well could. I smelled toast. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's always good. Uh, no, I... Uh, somebody's making toast. Yeah. I had uh, comedy shows all week. So Wednesday, I entered the uh, Funniest Person in Wichita contest. Uh, mm-hmm. First time in five years I've entered it. Okay. I did get through to the semifinals on yeah. November 17th. Okay. So, and then the finals are the 24th. Wow. So if I get through the semifinals, then I get to the finals, and then I get to lose in the finals again. Huh. But uh, so I, I did that. And then uh, hosted shows the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Nice. One Thursday, two Friday, two Saturday for Patrick Melton and Andre Price. Yeah. You know, whenever you're emceeing for somebody, Jeremy, and they're a real dick. Yeah. I didn't have that this week. Really? They were actually pretty cool. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So it was a fun time. Uh, Boy, I had that, not this last July, but the one before that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These two fucking dicks. Oh, I bet I know who it was. Mm-hmm. God, it was awful. I bet. I bet. Uh So uh, I had shows, and I probably drank everything I made. Nice. But I had a fucking awesome time doing it. 
It's not yeah. hard to do with MC Pay. No, no, it's not. And then I That's my uh, favorite rapper, by the way, MC Pay. MC Pay. MC Pay. Mm-hmm. He's all right. I like MC Pay less. He's the one that raps Absolutely. on the commercials. <laughs> MC Bogo. Yeah. yeah. MC yeah. Voight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, uh, and then I started my new job today, or not today, but this last week on Thursday I started it, and I'm working in the uh, south side of town. Yeah. So leaving work today. Southside. That's the upper class uh, part of our town. Just so you know. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I was leaving work. The real high class trailer park. <laughs> that's uh-huh. right. <laughs> leaving work today, and I'm on my way home. And I'm driving. And I look to my right as I'm coming over these railroad tracks, and there's a guy in front of a business that is closed looking in the window with his shirt off, just boxing. <laughs> just, <laughs> and, I mean, he's fucking throwing some hard punch. That is a meth head I would not want to tangle with. No. But holy shit, was that entertaining. So I laugh for about two miles. Okay. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. Yep. And then I came home and took a dump. So we've that's done, it. We've discussed the strength, the superhuman strength that meth heads have because of how fucked up they are, right? I don't think that guy, maybe he wanted some, but I don't know if he knows I'm a warlock. That's true. Mm, that's so. true. Hashtag I would, I would have turned that business into a dragon. <laughs> you should have pulled in and just, wait, you want to fucking throw down? <laughs> you want a piece of me? <laughs> I'll turn your can of beer into a glass bottle and beat you over the head with it. The best thing that would have been, that uh, I wish I knew how to blow the fireball like bartenders do. Yeah. Yeah. And just keep it like a bottle down there ready and then just pull in the fucking parking lot and be like. <laughs> 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 and just watch that guy take the fuck off. <laughs> You know, and he would probably recognize, there's no doubt he listens to this show. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's our typical audience right main, there. Main attraction right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. But anyways, no, it's a good week. That's a great week. It's not as good of a week as I had. I was on vacation, boys. Took You're a, supposed to save it for when I'm burying you alive. No, no, it's already already gone. I already used it. I got plenty more, but that's okay. Perfect. Yep. Uh, so uh, Get me, the shovel! <laughs> Me and my wife decided to take a day trip to Kansas City, just one day. Um, we just wanted to get away from everybody, turn my phone off. Actually, it or not. I, actually, I think your wife was leaving you. You weren't mm-hmm. supposed to go. Uh, Did she, you have to hide to... in the trunk? No. <laughs> no. No, she let me sit up front. But, uh, yeah. She, she told me I couldn't put my seatbelt on, though. So, uh, But anyways, yeah, we did We're go up to... the train track. Yeah. We went to <laughs> Kansas City. I got to play top golf for the very first time. Topless golf. No. That's the kind of golf I like to play. Mm. It was kind of a cool experience. I've never been before. I really figured you more for a bottom golf. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Top golf's more my thing. Uh, I didn't really try to play the game. Like, they have games to where you kind of try to hit the golf balls and the actual targets, and that's how you score. I didn't give a fuck. I was trying to hit it over the back, the back net. That's all I wanted to do. Okay. So um, why go there? Why not just go hit golf balls somewhere? Uh, because the those golf balls that they have in there actually have sensors in them, so you can actually see your flight path and see how actually how far it goes. I mean, I put it off in that a couple of times, and I couldn't hit it over. It was a little disappointing. But, uh, but yeah. Golf's stupid. Golf's awesome. So, the, it, okay, it takes, like, your trajectory and all that. Yeah. What would you do with that information if you had it? Like what do you mean? Like, like what? What did? You, what? What did that contribute to anything? Um, well, first off, it was kind of as opposed to just going and hitting golf balls. Uh, well, the first thing was was it actually was kind of hard to see the ball in the first place because of the backdrop was white, um, but you could kind of tell like your flight path if you have a draw if you're trying to fade all kinds of stuff. It actually mm. was kind of neat. It was a good Sounds experience. Like this place has the right idea. Yeah, heighten things up a little. I yeah. noticed underneath Top Golf you have trains is that what else you did did somebody no. run a train on you scotty no, no i did not and i will get to that i i am angry about that but i will get oh, to that oh he in didn't a like getting that train yeah. ran on him we went to uh we also we was did, a human centipede yeah uh we that, also ended up going to uh bristol which is the best restaurant in kansas city that's our favorite uh but we ended that's up that's not the best restaurant in kansas city. i think it is oh mm. my god it's amazing uh i we, don't know what it is it, yeah. seafood yeah it's seafood it's good uh but we went to the aquarium yeah, uh, they're in Kansas City. Because that's what I think of when I think of Kansas City. Ocean. Yeah. Is that where they got the seafood? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's where they got it. Um, and then after that, we, uh, you know, we took some stops and did a little shopping and all that other stuff. And that was, that was a lot of fun. And then Where'd we, you go? Crate and Barrel? No. Trader Joe's. Yeah. <laughs> got yeah. some groceries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And they got wine there. Yeah. <laughs> no. Four dollars. We ended up uh, going home uh, after that, and we made excellent time. Uh, was able to hang out with my parents. And uh, you I bet got it wasn't Oklahoma City time. 
No, uh, no. It was and pretty, that was good time. This is, is where time. this is where it comes. Your parents ran a train on you. No, oh. <laughs> no. Eventually, the night was uh, was over. We were tired, exhausted, tired of being in the car, so we were on our way home. We had to go pick up the dogs at my mom's house. They were they were uh, watching for the us. Dogs ran a train on you. Shut up, Derek. We, wow. Uh, we, we were getting on. Dr. Doolittle mm-hmm. over here. Mm-hmm. Shut up. We were getting ready to get onto the highway, and the way to do that, you have to go um, kind of through an area that has one set of train tracks. And uh, it does. It's active, and we knew that. Uh, but you can't really tell that there's a train that's coming until you're about, I don't know, maybe 100, 150 yards away from it. Um, yeah, because they're really quiet. No, mm-hmm. the no, the red flashing lights actually is what's giving away dumbass. But anyways, yeah, not that. Yeah, yeah, not he's the, the dumbass. Yeah. It's not that. So we get. I love how they have to do that all the way through town. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyways, I wish we, you could hear it. We get up to um, where the train actually is, and my wife looks over at me and goes, "Normally the trains that come through here are actually really small, so it probably is not that bad." Well, I was smart enough because there's a median that separates to where if you go too far, you can't turn around. This train, I shit you not, we were sitting and waiting for it to go past, no bullshit, 25 minutes, which I thought was against the fucking law. But apparently it's not. Mm. Um, I thought that for just for the simple fact of like uh, emergency vehicles or some shit like that. No, no, that's not an actual law. Fuck your emergency. Anyways, uh, this fucking cargo's got to come through. The other thing we is got hobos to transport in Wichita. I have actually had trains that were going through that you sit there and wait for, and then all of a the sudden they fucking stop. So after mm-hmm. sitting there for twenty five minutes, this motherfucking train actually stopped. Which luckily, again, I stayed behind. To be honest, is my favorite train of all time. Oh <laughs> fuck! I was so goddamn irritated. This is I exactly what I would do if I was driving that train around the line of cars because it, obviously it's blocking mo- the entire intersection, so you can see how many. And I'm I was ca- trying to count them. There was over sixty five cars that were lined up at that intersection, going all the way back towards Coke. Were any of them podcast listeners? Probably. Fuck those people if yeah. they weren't. I, I did leave one thing out on my week week recap. Yeah. I got to conduct a train. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. Fuck you. I fucking hate trains now. Absolutely hate them. But that oh, was my dude, week. There's something about a train that's magic. Now yeah. what's going to happen? You're going to have to have people run a bus on you? Yeah. Jeez. Or just over me. Uh, Ooh, go. Sounds I like, like somebody's never seen the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you handle that problem. Right. Or played Grand Theft Auto. Mm hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, Jeremy. Uh, Well, I think... Okay, I've contacted the people at Guinness. And so I'm waiting for a uh, response. But I may have had the most uneventful week of all time. No way. Yeah. Not you. Yeah. You you did something with wood? No. What the fuck? No, uh, I, I planted some grass seed. Um, <laughs> Did you watch it grow? Yeah. You, you know how, okay, you know how sometimes um, you like wind up like using a ladder, you get up on the roof and you'll go up there and like eat sugar free jello? I didn't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, yeah, oh yeah, we all do it, Scotty. Oh man, sounds like a great um, time. The, the closest thing to anything eventful that I did was, uh, let's see, when was it? Thursday. The company that comes and aerates my lawn, mm-hmm. uh, or comes and, and does the weed control, they came and aerated my lawn. And uh, when they do that, it pokes little holes in the ground, and it yeah. pulls dirt out, and they look like little dog turds. <laughs> and so I freaked the fuck out when I got home, thinking, fuck what happened to my goddamn dog? <laughs> what the hell did he eat? Because it looked like my lawn was covered in little poops. <laughs> um, but not to worry. With the woodworking, I have a project coming up I need to go buy some wood for, and I'm going to get out the old woodworking tools, and I will be doing it. I will, uh, I'm will. i going to be building a box to bury you alive in. <laughs> <laughs> gopher wood? Yes. No, it won't be gopher wood. It'll probably go with a pine or... Okay. Maybe. Why even, a, why even get wood? Why not just a cardboard box? I want to make sure you can't get out. You can't nail cardboard shut. That's true. 
That's true. But here, here's another fun fact. This is what you do. Whenever you kill somebody, you bury them 10 feet down. What part of buried alive? I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just letting the listeners know. This is, this is important. If you kill somebody, you need to hide the body. You, you actually dig 10 feet down, put the body there, and then put, put more dirt on top, about six to, you know, four feet. And that's, you put a dead animal there and then bury it back up. Then they won't even try to go any further down. Yeah, cops will never see around that. No, and, uh, just saying. As Norm MacDonald said, anytime somebody ever goes missing, they always find them in the same place, a shallow grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one of his that we've had on this show before. That's it. That's all you did. That's really all you did. No, fun. I really felt like hell no, all weekend. No, it really wasn't a good weekend for no, me. No fights at Lowe's. I didn't even go to Lowe's, you dude. Didn't... It was such a fucking uneventful weekend. I I played a PlayStation 4 game on my PlayStation 5. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a fucking rebel that way. That bad, huh? Yeah, I looked at some Facebook. I just heard uh, panties drop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All Probably about. that guy who was shadow boxing in the window. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If taking my shirt off wasn't enough, take this, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did do one other oh, thing. God damn one it. Thing. We were on my He shadow here. boxed on the south side of town. Yeah. Let's hear, <laughs> let's hear it, Scotty. What have you got? What's so fucking important that you had to interrupt my week? Speaking of video games, I got the new Far Cry. Oh, Jesus Didn't we Christ. talk about this last week? No, I did not. I, did, I, I was going to, but I forgot to say it. Because but it's, it's that important. No, it's not. I've literally only been able to play like 15 minutes. It sucks. Okay, go ahead and finish up your week there, Jamie. And that was my week. <laughs> Great. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, before we get on to all of the sport uh, analysis, the expert analysis of the sports, uh, we got to talk about our, uh, you know, guys that uh, pay us to talk about them, you know? Sure. No one out pizzas the hut. No, not those guys. That's uh, mm-hmm. Carabas, remember? Hmm? Huh? Yeah. We picked up a new sponsor. <laughs> no. No, we got Manscaped.com. Manscaped uh, makes amazing products to help, uh, you know, keep, keep your area nice and uh, clean. It's dot .com or dot .gov? Gov. Gov? Okay. Yeah, Manscaped.gov. It's its own country now. When you say your area, are you talking about your balls? I'm talking about my balls. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. I mean, what, what's it do? Is it Does it aerate? Does it leave little dog poops everywhere? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It mows, oh. it literally mows the lawn. I think that that should be their next thing that they make, the aerator. The aerator. <laughs> and where it, it pokes little holes in your skin and rips out chunks of it and just <laughs> leaves them everywhere. So, Manscaped, if you're listening, that should be your new product. No, they've got the Lawnmower 4.0 out, which is their, you know, their Cadillac product, if you will. I've learned that. That on the sure. last show. What if I just didn't want to mow my whole lawn and just wanted to shave like one ball? Oh, dude, I've already tried. I've already tried putting designs in mine. Yeah, yeah. I I did. Uh, I ended up shaving everything smooth. <laughs> he, no, he's got a swastika in there. No, yeah. no, no, no. I did the ludicrous. I uh, got some braids in there. You did that with shaver, huh? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know anybody could shave braids in. I let him go long. No, no. I, I, you end up having to actually Hang braid on, it. Are you yourself. making this up? It yeah. sounds like you're making this up. This doesn't sound real at all. Y- did you? Now do- that I put the logic together, <laughs> did you do the Padawan one braid yet? No, I'm- I keep it smooth. Okay. I keep it. Come on, yeah. you got to keep the nuts nice and slick so you can ice skate on them, baby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's rappers after Ludacris that had like you went way back. <laughs> Yeah. I did, I did, the, did the ludicrous. The ludicrous or the exhibit. I could have done the exhibit. In fact, uh, pimp your if, balls. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if, yeah, I, that is. if I may be so bold as to suggest this, Scotty, you need to stay the fuck up out of his business. <laughs> <laughs> he will throw them bows. Oh, mm-hmm. that's true. He will. I'm not afraid. Oh, he, fuck. We just, he's going to roll out. We just found Manscaped's new spokesperson the exhibit for Pimp My that, Balls. We just, oh, Pimp My Balls? Yes. Okay. That's great. I think that's awesome. But no, in all seriousness, they make a lot of products to keep you trimmed up and clean, nice and groomed, because that is more desirable than the other. We're going to shave your balls. We're going to put in a fish tank <laughs> <laughs> and an Xbox. <laughs> right down there. That's exactly right. Uh, but they also have other products. They have, Like what? Oh, man, my favorite, the Weed Whacker. Okay. Uh, What's that do, Scotty? That Tell act, me. That cleans Whacks your, your weed? Yeah. yeah. Sure it does. Mm-hmm. It helps you get rid of those really annoying nose. Is this a drug thing? This sounds like drugs. No. no. Weed. Oh, no. No, no, no. What is this? No. no. Tell me about it. 
Uh, they actually take care of all of your nose hairs. And I had some bad ones this week, and I hate my nose itching. So it's my going up your nose. Itchy. Are you sure this isn't drugs? Yes, I'm very positive. I'll be damned. Yeah. Uh, but they have other things, like Jeremy talks about the shears that comes in the Shears kit. are great. Yeah. And, uh, I'm actually due for a trim up here. Yep. And mm-hmm. I don't even have to make an appointment with an Asian or nothing. <laughs> you should. I'm going to. You're like, but I don't have to. Nail. <laughs> yes. you, you're going to tell your wife, clip my nails. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Do the manicure. Oh, dude. It's, you want to talk about somebody with a butterfly knife. Her with those fucking nail clippers. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nice. I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty smooth. That's, that's pretty. That's a lot. That's a very good talent that she must mm-hmm. have. That's, that's good. They just they can all do it. Uh, but in, especially right now, I think uh, one of the most important things that they have out there is the ball deodorant. That yeah, th- that is um, amazing. Humid, humid season right now. It, it is starting to get pretty humid, kind of moist down there, and you do not want to smell like Fumunda because it's not Fumunda really. It's actually your ass. I forgot to pack mine last week when we went to Oklahoma City. Oh no. Oh, fuck. It was like a goddamn sauna in there. (laughs) And my balls were a tropical jungle, minus the hair. Yeah, he was laying in the bed just airing them out. I'm like, dude, put that shit away. My, uh, It it was bad. And and then Derek tried to get away from it so hard that he just nailed his head against the wall. (laughs) I'm not looking at it again. I do have to say. Mark Rebele forgot all the words to his songs. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's how bad it was. Yeah. I, I got to bring this back up because it's probably one of my favorite callbacks for us doing this ad. And it was Derek and it was talking about how smooth he makes your balls. And he said, no, it was you. You said it. You could rub uh, and make the sound. Oh, yeah. I can glass. pull it tight and rub my finger on it and it'll whistle like a wine glass. That's yeah, right. That's the best part ever. Uh, but you need the toner for that. That that helps with that. Sure, you that, slick it up. And right. the tuner if you really want to get a good, <laughs> that's a true. good hum. Yep. Speaking of wine glasses, it's it's like a fine Merlot. <laughs> yeah? The toner, yeah. Awesome. Pour yourself a glass. I, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say that on the official <laughs> ad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but do check them out at manscaped.com. They do have excellent products. Uh, and Do you have, get a discount? You get a discount. When you use the promo code SIDELINES, you get 20% off of your order and free shipping shipping that helps. free shipping that's right that helps you out that helps us out that lets them know that uh, you know we're doing what we're supposed to be doing well i got news for you dickhead that shipping comes by train oh that's what held you up those motherfuckers uh, check them out manscape.com we appreciate you guys very much boy i'll tell you what this guy that just uh stepped into pitch for the dodgers <laughs> his name is tony gonsolin mm-hmm If I have ever (laughs) seen somebody whose name fits their appearance perfectly, it's Mm -hmm. that guy. This dude looks... He is a fucking... He looks like a Tony Gonsolin. Yep. If I had to just make up a name and I saw him sitting in the front row, I'd be like, what's your name? Tony Gonsolin? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be right. (laughs) Yeah, you would. (laughs) This dude looks like he literally drives a uh, 1998 Econoline unmarked van. I like how he's going with the old style pants. And the old style mustache too, <laughs> and the old style haircut. <laughs> it looks pretty. Yeah, he pretty. looks like he should have been pitching in '83. <laughs> he looks like kind of like Dennis Eckersley. He looks like if the A Italian little. mafia was in Fayetteville, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. In uh, fact, if I could. A little Kenny fucking Powers, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Not as good looking as Kenny Powers. What do you man. guys prefer? You like the full length pants? Or you like the the knee highs? What do you like? The man ram pants, Manny Ramirez. Uh, I like kind where of the, they hook them on the fucking cleat, yeah, yeah the back cleat. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. I, How does that not pull your pants down with every step? Uh, it just doesn't. I like the old style, the stirrups. Yeah, I do. I don't. Uh, I I kind of had mine look like riding pants, mm-hmm. cropped at the knee. I like wearing chaps whenever I play baseball. I think that's the best part. Of course you do. I know I do. <laughs> no. Uh, Swishing we, your ass around, it, hanging out at the it, fucking bathhouse, it, doing what you do. It's breezy, man. It's sure kinda, it is. Kind of breezy. It's like, run a train on me, guys. <laughs> Bitch no. can't catch me. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Oh, uh, no, God, he hates I trains. No. Is no. that why you hate trains so much? No, that is not. Somebody finally caught you? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. His nickname in high school was Caboose. Really? Yeah. Mm. Now it's chappy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, moving on. Let's get on to some sports because I'm going to bring this up because this is the main event of this week. So I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to do the most important thing that happened over this week, last week first. You know what that was, Jeremy? I don't care. The WNBA Finals, baby. Finals? Finals. Okay. Finals. They said they had a record year. 
as far as uh, average attendance, I looked up. It was a little over 2,000. <laughs> that was the average attendance per game. How's that the best? Because they used to average like 7,000. I don't know. It said this this year was uh, was a little over 2,000, which I was I was kind of impressed. Well, I you know, so COVID. Bad. Yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. I didn't think about that. But in the NBA Finals game, the actual Finals game, I think it was game two. I don't know how they mm-hmm. do this shit. Uh, total attendance was over 13,000 people. Wow. Total attendance. Total Just attendance. For, oh, for one game? For one game? Not for the whole fucking No, no, this was like series. game game two. And I said, there are 13,000 of those idiotic, dumb motherfuckers going to watch women play basketball. Mm-hmm. I bet it was one of those deals where like if you order a medium pizza from <laughs> Pizza Hut, you get, you get four free WNBA tickets. I agree with you 100%. They had, uh, all, I think they said that almost or just over half a million total viewers. They, they, they get actually them. had to give the people... Uh, 20% of Sue Bird's salary? Yeah. Right. To get him to show up. <laughs> That's right. Can you imagine being a vendor there? You wouldn't even have to yell, just cold beer. <laughs> cold beer here. You don't. You actually don't want to yell because then it'll echo throughout that empty fucking place. Peanuts. Yep. That's right. Oh, uh, shit. She's fr- shooting free throws. Hot dogs. <laughs> get your hot dogs. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you could hear me. Yeah. Honestly, but, they want him to pay more money for that. No. No, it's, it's awful. But they don't need more money. All they do is either shoot hoops or munch box. That's all they do. <laughs> that's right. Two of my favorite things to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I can I, do without the hoops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to shoot box and munch mm-hmm. hoops. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good to me too. Sure. There, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that either. I'll be honest. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, well, I I just I wanted to That's brief what I'm say from now on. God, check her out. I'd shoot her box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd munch the shit out of that hoop. That's okay. <laughs> That's not not good there, dude. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to some. Excuse me, some baseball. We got uh, October baseball as uh, as we did last week. So now we are further along. And we are currently watching the Atlanta Braves. Is that how it works? It progresses? No, it goes time ba- goes by? Sometimes it goes backwards. I'd it, like to see that. It's kind of a mystery. I think we should work from, just pick a champion and then work back the whole 162. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but no, we have, uh, we're actually currently watching the uh, Braves and the uh, Dodgers play in LA. Um, they decided to start that game a little fucking early, so we're kind of at the end of it, but... Go Braves. Fuck the Dodgers. I don't think they decided to start it early. I don't think they can do that. I don't think there's... there's uh, maybe there isn't the other game tape plays Yeah, there is. Nice. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because otherwise, yes, that would be absolutely fucking retarded. Especially since they're in L.A. Like, for those fuckers, the game probably started at, like, noon. Yeah, those fuckers are all homeless, jobless. Yep, I know. Uh, but the, <laughs> They're actors, right. so they've got nothing to do. <laughs> right. Uh, but the other series, uh, the Red Sox lead the Astros 2-1. to one. And the American League Cheater Series, the ALCS. No shit. That's exactly right. I'm still pulling for the Sox, so. My buddy went to that game yesterday. Well, they got a good fucking win out of it because the, uh, the Red Sox absolutely shellacked the shit out of them yesterday. So, yeah, you know Brian. I Brian, know Brian. I he know, went to the game. I know, you told me. I'm, yeah. I'm happy that he, he, he gets he, the chance that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, quote-unquote. He put so many damn videos of being I'm, there. I'm sure he did. In fact, I'm going to add that into my week. What's that? Brian went to the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's right. Uh, but I wanted to pull, or bring this up about the game. The Houston At- Astros hitters have gone so cold uh, Jose Altuve is one for eleven in the series. Michael Brantley is two for eleven, and Alex Bregman is two for eleven as well. Well, they put uh, the MLB put that shit like an electronic feel around, so uh-huh. they couldn't fucking. <clears throat> yeah, something's going going. It's a weird. Faraday cage. Yeah, and the other thing is, is the Astros ERA in the uh, AL, ALCS so far is uh, twenty point two five. For those of you guys not huge baseball fans, that is fucking awful. Say that statistic again. Twenty point two five. For for what? The ALCS. That is the ERA for the pitching oh, staff. ERA. Yeah, okay. that's that's, uh, that's what I want the, the fucking category. Yeah. For the Astros, that's mm-hmm. because they've also it was it's the first time in a, I think a, a series a playoff series that there have been three grand slams in this series. It's the most I believe ever in the ALCS, in the ALCS. grand slam. Oh, yeah. for sure, it's the very first time it's happened. So absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, go Sox. Fuck the two Astros. of them in the park. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the baseball stuff. Um, now we get to get on to some uh, football. I wanted to talk briefly about this uh, because it's kind of it's kind of a weird situation. I, I've ne- I don't think I've ever seen this happen. I'm sure it has, but I've never seen it. Uh, in the uh, NCAA, they're Oklahoma Sooners, who is the team that I mainly watch, but uh, had a starting quarterback who is a sophomore, Spencer Rattler, that was a starting quarterback coming out of the gate, goes into a Texas game and has a terrible fucking game and, and then gets pulled. Uh, I think, Jeremy, you said it was, what, 21-point lead? I believe they were up by 21. Uh, Texas was up by 21 in the second half, second maybe half. even into the fourth quarter. So they end up putting their number one recruit and uh, overall number one uh, player of uh, last year that they recruited, and he is a absolutely amazing quarterback, comes in and actually brings the Sooners back and wins that game. Now, Spencer Rattler was also going to – was at least projected to be at least the top five of the NFL draft picks. He was the preseason Heisman Trophy favorite. Yes, that too. What happens now because they have now announced Caleb Williams to be their starting quarterback? Um, Well, what does that do to your career as a sophomore? I believe Spencer Radler really has to make some decisions because he can no longer get by on his looks. (laughs) <laughs> or his sweet ass last name, <laughs> for, <laughs> Rattler. For, uh-huh. for those who don't know, Spencer Rattler is black, but an albino. Mm-hmm. Which are, and this is not racist. This is just fact. The weirdest looking fucking people <laughs> ever. Uh huh. It looks weird as fuck. Mm-hmm. I'll now, tell you what. With a name like Spencer Rattler and that kind of look, you've got a big future in porn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Probably or Big wrestling. Time. Doesn't even have to change his name. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think, Jeremy? I know you're you're more of an NCAA football fan. I'm than, the best. Yeah, NCAA fan. So, do you think that you should he should continue and try to go for the draft, or do you think that he needs to end up trying to transfer? Well, to this is school? definitely going to hurt his draft status. Obviously, he's Absolutely. a very very talented quarterback. He yes. needs to get his head back right, but it doesn't sound like he's going to get his job back anytime soon which the NCAA has changed a lot with their transfer rules. And so, yeah, he's probably going to transfer at the end of the season, play another year, and ensure that he gets, uh, you know, number one overall draft pick or at least top five draft pick because I don't know. I mean, if you can't hold your starting job at at the college level, how the fuck are you going to be able to do at the NFL? No, I I completely agree. I think this is going to be one of those situations where it was like Baker Mayfield. Then again, Matt Castle did it. Yeah. Uh, Baker Mayfield kind of did it. I mean, he he ended up doing the same thing, going to Texas Tech, transferring, going to Oklahoma. Yeah. And that's where he went. So uh, kind of a weird thing, but uh, we had a very interesting week in uh, the NFL. First things first, fuck you, Derek. Oh, what is this here? That's my 20 bucks, I bet you. Yeah, let me see here. Don't listen to me right. about fucking picking the Lions. Oh, you have one of those good. counterfeit you guys markers? Got, you guys want one of them, yeah, you got one of them pins, Scotty? <clears throat> no. It's not fake, Derek. Mm. Well, go out and buy one. Here's 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. But, yeah, so I lose my bet. Uh, the Lions, I, I guess I was extremely wrong. Um, they they're, fell to shit. They're bad. I, I I am so unimpressed. And I don't know if I'm more unimpressed with their offense or their defense. Because they are. Did you count off- that? Sorry, that was the sound of my wallet closing. <laughs> Wow. Did you count that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, he'll short yet. Yeah. I know he will. He, he, it looked like one of the corners was ripped just a little bit. Mm. I want that other part of the corner. I don't have it. Go fucking get it. Fucking Welch. Wherever you put it. Welcher. Okay. Mm-hmm. But no, I, what do you guys think? Do you think that the Lions win a game this year? Oh, they'll win a game. Yeah. I think they'll win a game, but you should look at their schedule. It sucks. There's yeah. only one opportunity for them to win, I think, within the next four weeks, and I think it's the uh, Eagles, and I think they'll get beat by the Eagles. Oh, probably. So, uh, There's always somebody who shits the bed. They almost beat you know, Baltimore, and they almost beat... That's true. But so they've had some close ones. It's not like they've been getting their ass blown out every fucking game. They'll, uh, get, they'll get a couple. They'll get more than one win. This last week they sure as shit did. Thing. Yeah. Speaking um, of getting your ass blown out, do you think they should travel by train, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not. Uh, do I do not think that, Jeremy? It would be uh, absolutely stupid. Uh, so here is the um, here's the next uh, couple of weeks for the uh, Lions. Uh, they play at home, I believe, against the Rams. That's then, a loss. That's a loss. Uh, then they play the Eagles. They could win that game. That's the only one I think they may have a shot in. Hmm. Then they play the Steelers. They the could win that game. Steelers, maybe. Uh, I don't know. They're getting a little bit better. 
Uh, the Browns, I don't think they could beat them. Uh, the Bears. They could win that game. The Bears? Mm-hmm. Nah, come on, man. Have a little bit more confidence. Uh, then they have Minnesota, Denver. They Is, could beat Denver. They, yeah, Den- they could beat Denver. Denver's the, one of the ones. Uh, Arizona, no way in fucking hell. Uh, then they have Atlanta. They could beat Atlanta. Yep, Atlanta, and then Seattle. They could beat them, too. And Green Bay. Is they could trounce them. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little bit optimistic, but no, I was extremely wrong i had a little bit more faith in uh jared goffel and i was fucking wrong so there you go that's that um let's look oh oh and we we get to prove jeremy wrong because uh the jacksonville jaguars came away with a fucking win baby sort of in london (laughs) yeah yeah i was uh i don't know that they won that game so much as atlanta lost it no it was not it was miami or miami i mean yeah yeah they uh I actually watched that game and still didn't know who fucking played as. That's how uninteresting it was. <laughs> but it, it that game, I'm gonna say this was the perfect depiction of my week. <laughs> fucking boring. Just fucking boring and nothing happening. Oh no, you missed the kick, man. Did you not see the field goal kick? Yeah, I saw it. It fucking was like eight to ten mm. yards right of the of going in, and it curved around. Yeah. It was. Beautiful. Where else are you going to see a field goal get kicked? Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're fucking it right. It was like That's a funny. fucking roller coaster ride. What were you doing? Like a roller coaster that just went straight. No ups and downs, no loop-de-loops. <laughs> just <laughs> like a train. <laughs> like a fucking train. <laughs> Goddamn trains. Uh, let's see. Isn't there another early game this coming week? Isn't there another game in England? No, there's not one. There's not another game in London. Maybe there ought to be. No, there should be. I like uh, having an early game. I think that's a good better. You guys want to go play some football in <laughs> yeah. England? Yeah, we could. Sure. You, you want to do that? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's Maybe. go. I might be able to do that. Uh, Aaron Rodgers. Dibs on nose guard. Okay. Go, go throw around the pigskin. Yeah. Shoot some puss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron Rodgers and Packers beat the Bears. How you doing there, Derek? What? I said Aaron Rodgers and the Packers beat the Bears. Okay. Uh, he screamed out, I own you. Mm-hmm. I think it's an accurate statement. What's What's frustrating <laughs> to me is listening to Chicago radio, because I listen to a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And none of them are upset about it. Michael Wilbon. Upset about what? That's fucking bullshit. What, that he said, I own you? To, yeah, to uh, screaming at a fan, I fucking own you. I fucking own you all my life. Really, dude? Have some fucking class. I'll tell you what, if I'm... Because I'm sure that fan had all kinds of class <laughs> talking to Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, but she probably makes fucking 12 bucks an hour. He makes millions of dollars. That doesn't mean anything. He no. Said, I, I think it's a, it's just as shitty for somebody who doesn't make a lot of money to act like a prick uh, just as much as it is. I'd have threw, if he said that to me, I'd have threw my fucking beard his head. No well, shit, I would have. And I'll tell you right now, if I am any if I am in that Bears locker room, next time when we play him in Lambeau, and mm-hmm. I know the Saints got in trouble for it, fucking roster bonus to whoever takes him out. Oh, wow. Damn. He's a selfish fucking prick. He always has been, especially the way he played these annex in the offseason. Mm-hmm. Fuck him. Yeah. And you didn't even throw for 200 yards, and you're going to championship belt that fucking shit? Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I, I love this attitude. I do too. <laughs> He's a fucking piece of you're, shit. You're mad at the wrong him. fucking people. There's a real, real easy way to shut him up, and that's beat him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. It's it's the longest, oldest rivalry in the NFL. You don't think there's going to be some shit talking that happens? Of course there is. Well, the and NFC he came into your barn and whooped your ass. The NFC Championship owns him. Sure, so, it does. all it's their true. life it owns him. It's and true. That's and okay. you, I guess you root for those other teams then. I always do. Jump the fucking wagon. I yeah. root for them for one game. I got two favorite teams every week, the Bears and whoever plays the fucking Packers. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I can understand you don't like it, but nothing about that is unfactual. So. <laughs> he pretty well does on you. Well, yeah. and I don't know if you watched that fucking game, but there, and I don't like to fucking blame the officiating because it's. I think it's a cheap Bullshit. cop out shit. I think it's cop out. It is, but but I actually watched that game and. Uh, Mario Edwards fucking, uh, was it a, I think it was a sack or he knocked him down and Rogers is on his back and he's got his fucking, he's got a hold of Edwards face mask Mm -hmm. and the ref throws a flag on Edwards for fucking taunting when Edwards couldn't fucking lean up. 
because his fucks that they had, he had a hold of his face mask. Right. Wow. Uh, their play clock was winding down. We're in field goal range. Justin Fields goes to call timeout, and they don't let him have the timeout. And three three seconds later, the fucking play clock expires. Delay a game out of field goal range. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's fucking shady shit. There was a bullshit hold mm-hmm. on the same penalty that Justin Fields got helmet to helmet hit, and those offset. And they look it back, and the announcers are like, "I don't see where there's the hold there." Hmm. So he gets those bullshit calls a lot. People bitch about Brady with it. He gets them just as bad, if not worse. Yeah. So I don't care for his man bun. I fucking hate him all around as a person. <laughs> we know you do. Yeah. Basically, he literally. Let's get him the aerator because I would love to fucking okay just yeah. take out chunks of his nuts and spread them across my yard. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, a it's lot like of people salt in the earth. A lot of people. Obviously, this is. Uh, I think this is his last year in Green Bay. I think he, they're talking about him going to. Uh, I hope it's last his last year. Period. I hope he gets fucking paralyzed. No, God. I fucking hate him. Damn, that's just cruel. But uh, no, I think they're talking about a good spot for him to land would and, be and in he's Pittsburgh. The asshole. Yeah, no joke. I fucking he's a piece of shit. Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, Pittsburgh is kind of the favorite to end up getting him. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I will. Uh, I, I have full and total confidence in saying that uh, the Arizona Cardinals are the best team in uh, the NFL. I don't Not. know. Them or the Bills. Mm, when we get to uh, real yeah. shit and horse shit, I don't know if uh, we're going to do that or not. But yeah, That's the right play Buffalo called. Uh, the Go for it? Yes. Oh, I 100%. You're on the road. You go for the win. 100%. I totally agree. You go for the win. You don't want to go into overtime. You don't want to leave it up to a coin flip. There's a lot of things. Yes, you go for that play, and Josh Allen just slipped. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i going to be honest. I had to get up early this morning, so I went to bed thinking that the Bills had this game well in hand. Mm-hmm. Same here. And nope. Yep. Same here. Uh, Derrick Henry. Fuck, dude. Fuck. It's the name. That no, because he spells it dim- differently Derek. than you. Yeah, but it's, he means the same. Okay, God damn it! They spell a- they spell my name that way at Starbucks. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you don't think this has anything to do with the fact he's built like a fucking animal? <laughs> no, it's the name. <laughs> it's just the name. Yeah, okay. most Derricks are just God given athletes, sure. Jeremy. If you watch that game, I forgot the way you munch hoop. If you, <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> if you. <laughs> If you watch, I think about going pro. Yeah, mm-hmm. you should. <laughs> you should. Yeah, you're not too late in life. No. Yeah, the man, PHML. You can make the WNBA. Yeah, you're your prime man. Pro hoops munching league. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, if you watch that game, Derrick Henry, if you do not gang tackle him before he reaches the line of scrimmage, if he gets past like two yards past the line of scrimmage, and he only gets hit by one dude. At that point, he has gained so much speed that you have to make a life-changing decision of whether or not you want to stand in fucking front of him because he will take you out. Well, I mean, at that point, he's he's the size of a linebacker. Yeah. Easily. Maybe even a little bigger. And so, yeah, if you get into the secondary, no fucking safety wants to take you heads up. I oh, mean, they're going to try man. and take out your fucking legs, and they don't want to wrap him up because... It'd be like trying to fucking grab a hold of a rotor tiller. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to win that. No. You might lose a finger. <laughs> you might lose more than that. I'm I'm seeing an open field tackle of him, and I'm like, oh, God, yeah. that's got to fucking I mean, hurt. It can be done, but oh, you better can. get a fucking head of steam. No kidding. <laughs> Oh, God, it's like Juggernaut. That's what he reminds me of. Is is the super, what is it, X-Men? The that shitty guy? villain yeah. from the second X-Men? Yeah, yeah, that guy. You know that guy beat the shit out of somebody at a bar for that? Was it Vinnie Jones is who played him? Mm. And uh, somebody was like, hey, I remember you. Weren't you Juggernaut? And he beat the shit out of him because he's like, fuck, he hated that role. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, it's, it's and, nothing like the comic book Juggernaut. The Juggernaut in the comic books is huge. He beat the Hulk once. Mm. Wow, okay. Well, now we get to move on to some more NFL stuff, but we're going to do this with real shit or horse shit. Uh, this is uh, Jeremy's new favorite segment. Uh, but the first one... How many fucking new favorite segments do I have? All Every one of them. Uh, all of them, Dan. All of them. They're all your favorite. I haven't liked a one yet. <laughs> <laughs> you made Most, this one. I like the one where you go away. <laughs> that will be my favorite now. Oh, that's The one too. where you're like, let me out of this box. <laughs> that's the one that I will love. Sure. Okay, first one for real shit or horse shit. The Detroit Lions are the worst team in the NFL. Jeremy? 
No, they're still better than the fucking Jaguars. They just won't play them. Mm, okay. I agree okay. with you. This is this is horseshit. They, they do have good pieces. I think they are better than Miami and <laughs> the Jaguars. It, the Jaguars are just a little bit better than Miami this week. So I think they're yeah. the third worst I team think in the NFL. There's probably three teams that they could uh, beat in the AFC East. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say horseshit, and it's the Jets. Oh, the Jets. The ah. Jets, I think, are the worst team in the NFL. That's possible. You're talking Still. the J-E-T-S? Yeah. Jets, Jets, yes. Jets. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Made famous. I know. Mm-hmm. That's probably a good good point. I think you're you're probably right about that. Um, okay, next one. You know, they won a Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Broadway Joe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's been a little while, I guess. Yeah, you know, if his name was Derek Namath, he'd have won nine. Mm. Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the whole key. Broadway uh, Derek. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real shit. He doesn't munch hoop, though. Mm, Broadway no. Derek, no. no. Not at all. Not Re- when you wear a fur he, coat like that guy. Yeah, he munches goalpost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking... All right. Real shit or horse shit. The Titans have figured it out after their win over the Buffalo Bills and will now be a relevant team again. Horse shit. Really? Yeah, they they so? were relevant last year. They were in the playoffs. I don't think that, that they've come from nowhere. I mean, they're, they've been a good team for the last few years. They've looked pretty shitty the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> That's so. what I'm saying. I think a lot of people have uh, kind of righted them off and said they're probably not going to be a playoff team. Then they... Uh, you know, I mean, it was at home. It was in it was in uh, Tennessee. But uh, even though the Bills, as good as they are, they uh, they got a lucky one, I think. Uh, but uh, I do think that they're going to be a little bit better than they've been. But this is horseshit. Do you guys see that they really tried to rub that Music City miracle in their fucking face? The first punt return. No, I where didn't. they did a cross field pass. Oh on no, that. I and didn't see it. Had it not been okay. They were all cool with it, like celebrating that it worked when it was an obvious forward pass. I mean, really? I mean, it went five yards forward. Wow, it wasn't even close. Mm. But um, yeah, had it been a straight lateral across, a, a good throw, it would have scored a touchdown. <laughs> well, damn it! Yeah, they're four and two. The Titans yeah. are. They're, yeah. they're not. Yeah, they're 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 going to win that division. They got the Colts, Texans, and Jaguars. Uh, Texans look strong. Texans yeah. Texans are some good. Big yeah. one and five. That's right. You don't mess yeah. with Texas. There's no right. way they don't win that division. I don't know. I think I think the Colts may surprise you a little bit. I, I think a lot of people expected more when they got Julio Jones. Expected a more high powered passing game out of him. But what a fucking geez. catch he had. Yeah, it was all right. But. Uh, He's not what he used to be. Ooh, that game got tied. Yeah, and he, the quarterback is not great. Mm, Ryan Tannehill's he's okay. He's better. He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. I'll give you that. Okay. He doesn't make cold calls like Matty Ice. Uh-huh. Uh, here's the next one. Real shit or horse shit. After their win over the New England Patriots, the Dallas Cowboy fans are the most annoying fans on fucking earth. Horse shit. Really? KU fans are the most annoying fans on earth. Oh. 13 straight Big 12 championships. We just win the Big 12 all the time. It means your team's really, really good. Damn it. You I... rock, rock, chalk, man. Every time we play, rock, oh. chalk. You got to rock, chalk them all, man. They're, they're real good. I, I get I, All right. Derek, you, you and nobody knows hoops like Derek. <laughs> I munch him. <laughs> you you change regular fucking Pac Man with hoops. Mm-hmm. You changed my mind. Holy shit! Uh, they are definitely. It is real shit if you're talking about NFL fans, like NFL team fans. Number one. No, nah, it's Packers. Most annoying. No, no, they are not as bad as the fucking Dallas Cowboys fans. But Cowboys as, fans don't wear cheese on their fucking head. No, <laughs> they're no, they're worse than wearing cheese. I understand the cheese for Wisconsin. I get it. The they're Cow- named after the meat packing industry. <sighs> okay, all right, but yes, uh, I agree with Derek. This is horseshit. Ku fans are awful. Jeremy. Uh, it's horseshit. Uh, they were the most annoying fans in all of sports long before their win over the Patriots. <laughs> uh, that did not fucking change with their win against the Patriots. It's not like they got more fuck. In fact, that maybe they're they're less annoying than they used to be in the fucking nineties. How about them Cowboys? Fuck you! <laughs> you bought a fucking all star team, you dick. 
I kind of have one now. I'm, I'm, I, as much as I, I hate to say it, but the Cowboys are good. The only thing holding them back that I just have so much hope for to fuck it up is their goddamn head coach is awful. Fuck it up, Mike McCarthy. And their general manager. And their general manager as well. They can fuck it up. And their fans and their uniforms <laughs> and that stupid stadium. And yep. Uh, I, yeah. Everything about them. I really? Agree. I agree. Uh oh, Dodgers back in the lead. Dodgers took the lead in the bottom of the eighth inning, and I am angry. They scored four runs. Of course, by tomorrow, you'll all know that if you care. That's true. All right. Real shit or horse shit? Kyler Murray is a better quarterback than Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes. Horse shit. Okay. He's not better than either of them. He might be close to as good as them, but he's not better than either one of them. He's definitely better than Lamar Jackson. Uh, I don't know. Lamar I, Jackson can completely change the game around with the way he, he's, he's the best runner on his team. He's I, the best passer on his team. I know. I know. I get it. I 100% get it. But Kyler Murray, in this this year especially, is, I, I mean, the I really struggle to say he's better than Mahomes. Because Mahomes, unfortunately, the bad, so far, quote, unquote, bad season he's had, uh, has a lot to do with Tyreek Hill not being able to catch the fucking ball. And he keeps tipping the ball up, which then entails gets picked off. Now, there's so. a few I've watched Mahomes. The fucking they were straight on him. No, that's that's true. I'm, yes. I'm not saying He's, that he has thrown eight interceptions this year. Four of them have hit receivers in perfectly the in the hands that's or on the shoulder pads, and have been tipped up for interceptions because guys who are paid to catch a ball can't catch a fucking ball. Mm-hmm. I'm not bitter about it at all. I know. I just want you to know that I. The thing is, I've moved past it. <laughs> but no, uh, Patrick Mahomes all last season had eight interceptions. He has eight interceptions already this year. So, um, I, at least as of right this second, I can't. I cannot say this is real shit because of Patrick Mahomes. I still think he's the best quarterback in the league. Uh, Jeremy, uh, <clears throat> it depends on your definition of better. I'm going to say it's bullshit because, no, he's not horseshit. better or horseshit. He's not better. He will have, by the time you compare their careers, no, he will not have the career that either one of those two. However, he is, of the three of them, he is playing the best football mm-hmm. right now. Right now. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think you're right on there. And last one, fucking Stephen A. Smith. Real shit or horse shit, Stephen A. Smith, and I quote, he said this, if OBJ gets traded to the Green Bay Packers this season, they will go to the Super Bowl. Horse shit. The NFC Championship owns Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I, just, I think it's fucking horse shit all, just because it's horse shit. All that game's inception, it's owned him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only once. Only once he made it through that there, Derek. Uh, but no, this is horse shit. Well, he's I, lost five times to the Bears. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, it is absolutely horseshit. They're going to run into a team out of the N- NFC East that is going to beat them. Uh, Dallas? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, NF- NFC West. I apologize. Um, you're going to run into Los Angeles Rams. You're going to run into the Cardinals. There are lots and lots of teams out of the NFC that are better than the Green Bay Packers. No. Yeah, they're in an ass division. And if they get OBJ, who is is injury prone and hasn't played worth a shit over the last two years. I'm no, no. If this was OBJ five years ago, I'd have said maybe, maybe, but OBJ is no spring chicken anymore. And he's kind of been showing it. Mm -hmm. He's on a good team. Can't seem to get open. He's on a decent team. I'm not going to say good team, but decent team. I didn't fucking ask. Uh, that's I'm going to check through my notes here, but I bet you I won't find a single place that says I asked your fucking opinion, Scotty. <laughs> Keep your goddamn trap shut. Well, that is your expert sports analysis for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun, the fun stuff, Jeremy. Mm. Well, your favorite stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear the excitement in my uh, voice. I can hear it. This is going to be as good as my week. I uh, know. All right, we get to move on to overrated or underrated. This is where we take random items and let you guys know what we think. If it's overrated or underrated, self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, uh, Derek will hit you on the head with a tack hammer. All right, first one, overrated or underrated, dancing. Overrated? Really? Who wants to exercise drunk? (laughs) Who said you had to be drunk? This is stone-cold sober dancing, man. 
Oh, way overrated. <laughs> That's dancing without the confidence. Come on, bro. I've seen you do TikTok dances, and you're pretty good at them. I, all I can do is the WAP and that knees thing, <laughs> and those are the only two you've seen me do. Okay. Uh, I mean, I did those in confidence. Let me let me let me break it down to you. This is uh, this is definitely underrated, and let me tell you why. That's how I got my wife. Is because I am a I can dance. I taught her how to swing dance. I can. Uh, and she taught you how to swing. No, no, I, I can do upside the upside down pineapple. Mm-hmm. I can do the nay nay. I can do the sea walk. I can do all kinds you of shit. You can't fucking sea walk. Can you whip? I can't see what I can whip and nay nay. You can. I sure can. Bullshit. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a guy that's got rhythm. So do it. Do it. Go fucking do it. Sea walk somewhere, right now. Go, right fucking now. Go do it somewhere else. I'll do it after the show. We don't got any fucking room back here. I mean, no, I see dancing. Yeah, go somewhere underrated. else and do it. You want to get some puss? I'll punch some hoop right now if uh-huh. you see walk. I was just getting ready to say, if you want to get some puss, learn how to fucking dance. It helps. Jeremy? Yeah, I'm sure. That's the only thing keeping me from just sailing on a sea of puss <laughs> is that I, my dancing. That's, you know, the fact that I'm fucking 85 pounds overweight has nothing to do with it. That's how you got just, your No, that's how you got your wife. You were back there just doing the YMCA I'm not like gonna a lie motherfucker. To you, that actually did have a little something to do with it. See? We, we met at a fucking bar dancing. Um, Told you. But it was it was more, you know, the size of my fucking cock <laughs> that did it. She kept tripping on it, stepping on it. She didn't step on my toes, just right on the cock. No, I thought you were doing um, the YMCA, and she just uh, got so excited. Jeremy seems like a sprinkler guy. <laughs> sprinkler? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do the sprinkler. Okay. YMCA, how fucking old do you think I am? Jack yeah. off. Okay, you fine. know what? Don't answer that. The shopping cart. Yeah, I was uh, I was, I was, was doing the uh, that thing where you fucking grab your leg. And move it back and forth. I was doing Running Man a lot. <laughs> Jump over your leg. I could do that. Sure, yeah. I I could moonwalk. Oh, uh, there you go. Can you sunwalk? I can't. Mm-hmm. I I will literally catch the sun on fire if I try. <laughs> That's how hot my dance moves are. Uh-huh. Uh, however, I am going to go with overrated because it does piss me off. Um, it doesn't matter how much he says it. I need to tell my boss. River dancing is not a part of my job description, motherfucker. <laughs> That's great. I will pop, lock, and drop it. I'm not going to river dance anymore. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, next one. Overrated or underrated? This is a uh, fan question. This is from at Baxter underscore 97. He wants to know, overrated or underrated food trucks? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> underrated. Yeah, baby. Way underrated. My uncle has a food truck. Does he really? Yeah. What kind? Uh, candy, and by truck I mean van. <laughs> <laughs> he would. Yeah. Is he? Is candy he? Candy is food. Kids it, love it. That's that's true. Have you seen that TikTok video of the kid that's uh-uh. in the van and he's trying to lure adults into it? Yes. With candy. <laughs> oh, that's so it's like, funny. what do you like? I like dogs. We got a whole bunch of dogs that's in the, the back. back. <laughs> <laughs> you should come have some candy. And adults are like smiling, going. Oh. Yeah, he's like eight. Yeah. <laughs> then Chris Hansen's in the back. Have a seat. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. So you like Tootsie Rolls? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nobody likes Tootsie Rolls. I um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I, out. I love fucking Tootsie, Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls dude. are like the only chocolate thing that I like. Really, I, I don't care. Oh. For, I don't care for Tootsie Rolls. You don't anymore. like Denzel? No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's hot chocolate. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Anyway, uh, I I have not had anything bad off of a food truck, at least the ones that are here. I've had a Greek food truck. I've had tons of. You taco. mean ass fucking? No, an ass fuck truck? No, <laughs> no, that's a train, Jeremy. He got a food truck ran on him. It's a sure fucking did. train. <laughs> that's what we're gonna like call five it. Five guys just lined up and <laughs> ate his ass. God sure damn it! Those go <laughs> fucking food trucks. They really trucks. munched too. All. The, all <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> they took a bite out of that basket. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a straight layup for them. Oh, Jesus. No, food trucks. You know, his nickname in high school was Picnic Basket. <laughs> Underrated. <laughs> Moving on. Jeremy, go. Uh, well, last time that I was at a food truck was several weeks ago. I, I got a, I ordered a burrito. Mm-hmm. Should be getting it any time now. Um, <laughs> The food from food trucks is always delicious, but why does it take so goddamn long to make anything? <laughs> no. There was one from Burrito Express that I should sue them for false advertising. 
because there's nothing fucking express about what they did. <laughs> it took all goddamn night for them to wrap some shit in a tortilla. But yeah. they took my money right away. There's no fucking reason why it should take that long. I realize they're in a mobile kitchen mm-hmm. that doesn't have a whole lot of room. That's right. But there's a reason why people are lined up at these fucking things, and it's not because it's so good. Oh. It just, they're still waiting. Oh, okay. All right. Next one. Excuse me. Uh, overrated or underrated go karts? Overrated. Really? Yeah, absolutely. You can't sleep in a go kart. <laughs> True. You sleep in a car. Yeah. And I don't. I'd rather race a real car. Okay. And then fucking ram people with a real car. Oh. Target practice with that guy that was boxing in front of the window. Absolutely. At that <laughs> what go. am I gonna do with a fucking go kart? I, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't go to a Chiefs game with a go kart. I'd still have two fans alive. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That sucks. Um. That was mean. Yeah, it was mean. Uh, honestly, I I just for the sole purpose of uh, the guy that dressed up like Mario and in, in Mario Kart and was driving one around the airport, throwing stuffed bananas out of the back of it to at cars. Under fucking rated. Go karts are awesome. I got you. Think it's fun to waste food. Okay. Yeah. No they're fake sh- food. They're, they're starving people. They're stuffed animals, Jeremy. That, those are fake people. They'll eat that. <laughs> <laughs> they're starving stuffed animals. Yeah. And a claw machine in Africa. That's <laughs> fucking great. I should do that. Put, put like steaks and shit in one of those claw machines. And <laughs> it's only a fucking quarter. Oh, shit. Yeah, fucking I know claw you had to, machine. <laughs> He's like, I had to work three weeks for that quarter. <laughs> Yeah, this is steak. <laughs> sure. Sure. I think it's going to get it this time. Oh. No. It's, it's a hung. sandwich. I want the sandwich. I want the sandwich. <laughs> it's a yeah, fucking... It does this one. It gets all the way to the prize thing, and it just mm. stops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, no! It's a fucking porterhouse. It's got that round bone in it. It just barely caught there. Thing and it's hanging on and oh, gets shit. right before the shoot and just falls off. Oh, it, it, it actually drops out of the wrapper and then all that drops is the wrapper. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I believe it is a real thing. Don't they have these with lobsters? I think so. Little crane machines? <laughs> uh, maybe. Fucking pick them up? Probably. Probably in Maine. Yeah. Something like that. Sounds like something Maine would do. Right. Yeah, that's maybe Delaware. Nah, Delaware probably would too. I think Delaware, they just manufacture lobster, don't they? Yeah, probably. You just walk around the corner, lobster. You Lob- grow it. Lobster. Sure. <laughs> it's your number one crop. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, underrated, without a doubt. I don't know what it is about me that I drive a car all the fucking time. You would think it would not be any big deal for me. But any miniaturized version of a fucking car or motorcycle that I can drive, whether it be a fucking go-kart, a golf cart, a fucking mini bike, a four wheeler, whatever. I get fucking jazzed up. Yeah, I know when what, I drive them. I know. What I it. really do. And I, I mean, I know that my top speed is fifteen miles an hour at best, and it, but it just feels so fucking fun. I, and I, know, I know what it is. It's the wind in your hair. I don't have hair, Scotty. Oh, There's a shot. Yeah, yeah he's no. manscaped <laughs> on his head and. As I, I think I've said it on this show before, but I uh, have a rule at a go kart track that I will not leave until I'm asked. <laughs> yeah, is that guy wearing a fucking pearl necklace? No. Now somebody just jizzed on his chest. <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure that fucking Marge yeah, Simpson's it hitting. It sure looks like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those are the ones that Batman's mom was wearing. Right. <laughs> that is a fucking pearl necklace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, he's bringing them back. Jesus Christ. They uh, never left. I've seen lots of movies. Uh, it's, uh, was it Jock fake. Peterson? It's fucking yeah. fake. Those Isn't are fake name? pearls. Jock Peterson? Isn't yeah. Name? That's what I thought. Turns out they were his grandmothers and she just died. Yeah, and she just died. Ass you cancer. fucking un... What's the word? They're going to rip his shirt off if he hits a game-winning home run. He's going to have booby tassels on. <laughs> yeah, I bet you they got fucking vibrating things. <laughs> vibrating right. pearls. Yeah. Okay. They're actually anal anal beads. That's that's right where I was going. (laughs) All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated breakfast for dinner? Overrated. Okay. I think breakfast for breakfast sucks. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, man. That's <laughs> not my answer. Yeah, I don't... No thanks. Give me a steak or some oh, pizza. Oh, my. Or some hoop. Oh, I, okay, first of all, breakfast for dinner is totally fucking overrated. I totally understand it is a, you know, we as people and Americans or whatever, it's something that we've just made it at, at part of our culture to eat in the morning certain foods. But I'm not eating breakfast food for dinner. I'm not going to fucking do it. I'm not doing eggs, bacon, pancakes, or waffles or none of that shit after 10 o'clock. So, no, overrated. But it's good in the morning. Jeremy? You're both fucking wrong. It's fucking great. Now, I wouldn't want to do it every day, but once every couple of weeks, oh, I fucking love it. Uh, it really is good shit. It's biscuits and gravy, a fucking waffle. I could do biscuits and gravy. Fuck, yes. I could do biscuits and the gravy. I, I could do that. bacon and eggs. I could do an omelet. No. No. You're, yes, I can. No, you're a psychopath. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> what if that's you? what it takes, if that's how you justify that, I will beat your fucking ass. You've been talking about it all fucking night, Jeremy. What, anyway. eggs or? No, killing me. <laughs> no, I, um, I just learned a interesting fact here not too long ago. Hmm. Uh, a guy named Edward Bernays, um, who was the nephew of Sigmund Freud, was taught by Freud that... If you can get an idea in people's heads that they will, uh, that they need something, mm -hmm. and he's kind of the one who put out, you know, you can you can basically drive people to do it, and he put out this notion that he's the one who started the idea that breakfast is the most important meal of the day, really? even though it's complete bullshit. I believe it that. is not, um, but yeah, that basically the the bacon industry. Mm thrived on the fact that people are like, yeah, we fucking need bacon and eggs in the morning. Now bacon's in fucking everything. Yep. So, so fuck Edward Bernays. That's right. Uh, any, any relation to like Bernays sauce? I believe he's the guy who invented Bernays that sauce. Makes sense. Okay. Last one. Uh, overrated or underrated? Right on suitcases. What are those? <laughs> those are those motorized suitcases that people have at the airport. Yeah, is this kind of like you know how you go on your roof and eat sugar free Jello? <laughs> you know, one of those kind of common things. What'd you pack? A motor. <laughs> I don't need any clothes. I just need a motor. No shit. People have these and they fucking. I can bring this on a fucking plane, but I can't bring my nail clippers. What the fuck? <laughs> no shit. And you can't bring your nail gun. That's bullshit too. Yeah, that one probably not. A good I feel idea. like this falls under the category of go karts. <laughs> it could, I guess. So you, you put, put the same thing twice, so it's underrated. <laughs> I I think they're definitely underrated. Are you fucking kidding me? You could you could have a place to put your shit and ride around on a cart. That's what we need more commotion at the fucking airport. Yeah. No, I think you need fucking racing at the goddamn airport. That's what I think. Fucking suitcase races. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. Go ahead. <sighs> Go ahead, there. Overrated. I've never even seen one. Oh, God, they're cool. They look cool. Anyways. I'd, I think that would be like your bag would be overweight before you even started packing <laughs> shit in it. <laughs> no. You know what we need? <laughs> we need racing at the airport. What do you think, Derek? <laughs> <laughs> Go-karts. Nah. Oh. Nah. Come I on. forgot you don't even like races uh, at the airport. <laughs> no. You freak out anytime some non-white comes on. Oh, that's Scotty. That's right. Oh, that's Scotty. That's mean. He wants to run him over with his fucking suitcase. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Um, but anyways, that is overrated or underrated. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for either overrated or underrated in questions for Guntas, you can uh, put them in uh, our TikTok channel. There's a Q&A section, and you can make your suggestions. And if we like them, we'll go uh, do it on the show and give you a shout-out. So uh, take advantage of that. But now, questions or preguntas. I like this one. This is Jeremy's other favorite one. Uh, we'll move on to first question. Uh, let's I see. I feel like you don't know what favorite means. No, nope, I have no idea. I've just been lying the entire time. God damn it, Dodgers win. Fuck. Okay, first question. Unusual things to be coin operated. Derek? Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shit, the house is burning down, honey. Give me a quarter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't put it out. I didn't have any change. <laughs> I've, uh, I knew I shouldn't give that homeless man money. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have a couple for this, but uh, the one that 
makes the most sense to me. It'd be unusual if, uh, in order to get toilet paper when you're taking a shit, have to fucking put in some change. Can you imagine people not wiping their ass and going back to work? Don't shit There's in a my lot house. of places have uh, oh, pay boy. toilets. Pay what? There's a lot of places have pay toilets. Oh, yeah. Oh, no Public way. Yeah. Oh, God, no. I can't believe that. And then my second answer was going to be soap dispensers. I don't give a fuck if you believe it or not, Scotty. I was, I was going to say soap dispensers in the bathroom as well. Uh, it doesn't matter. Fucking mm. a goddamn pandemic couldn't get a guy to wash his hands after he takes a piss. So it uh, wasn't going to be they anything. Keep it clean that, down there. Yeah. You got that ball toner. That's right. Uh, but those are my two. Go ahead, Jeremy. Caskets. What? A casket. How like it? You go to a funeral, you want to view the body, you got to put in a nickel. <laughs> Pops up, you get 12 seconds. <laughs> what the fuck? And it slams shut again. <laughs> next, next guy in line. I can't believe he's got... Oh, God damn it, where's my quarters? <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Uh, all right. Uh, it's like a parking meter. Uh, next one. Uh, let's see. Okay. Unusual signs posted in the front window of a restaurant. You're still banned, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Has a picture of him and everything. Just a sign. Oh, just mm-hmm. a sign? Okay. Yeah, and then you're like driving by and like, is he, fuck, my name's Cody. Me? <laughs> is it me? <laughs> what the fuck did Cody do? Uh, let's see. Mine. Okay. Let's see. Try the number one. Try it now. With exclamation points. Okay. Damn right. All right. There you go. Jeremy. Uh, farm fresh, cage free, all organic guinea pig. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm, I'm hungry. <laughs> guinea pork. Guinea pork. Oh, uh, fuck. All right. Next. Uh... Fresh hoops to munch on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can I get some of them onion hoops? Yeah. <laughs> You sure can if you want. Yeah, I need hoop tower. <laughs> so I'm going to call it from now on. I'll take some of them onion hoops. Or mm. that bunion hoops. <laughs> Just grating people's bottoms of their feet. Oh, Deep God. frying them. Come on, Scotty. God. You know you want it. No, I don't. I, want, I don't like this, la- this question. I don't like it. Okay. Can we do another one? Nope. Okay. Uh, this question is... The last thing Scotty thinks about before drifting off to sleep. How he's going to buy a championship belt for falling asleep the fastest. (laughs) And then when he wakes up, he's going to have to go get a trophy for having the world's largest wet dream. (laughs) Touche. Touche. That's true. I would do that. (laughs) You're like, fucking two trophies in one. (laughs) Two trophies on my desk. Fuck yeah. Okay, no. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Naked Derek, and then I'm going to wake up. I knew that. Ferociously from that nightmare, so I don't sleep. With the world's second biggest wet dream. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to have to go buy a silver trophy. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't. They have those. (laughs) They do have those. I don't think it's going to be totally Naked Derek. I think he's going to be wearing a train conductor's hat. (laughs) With the bottom of them being a fucking centaur, and I've and I've got I've got three twin or three triplets behind yeah. me, all me, identical. Oh, oh that's awful. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> I think that's probably it. <laughs> really, you yeah. think so? Probably. Uh, okay. I hope I don't pee the bed again. <laughs> Fine. I better pee now. Yep. Okay. In bed. All right. Next one. Odd things to have written in icing on a cake. You probably shouldn't eat this. (laughs) And then a phone number for the gym. (laughs) That's good. I can get you that cake. I should get you that cake. I'm going to eat it. Uh, I can just imagine um, a 10-year-old kid going, uh, having a birthday party, and his parents uh, bring him in a cake that says, uh, you're adopted. I Ooh, I got, I got another one. Okay. <laughs> we'll work for food. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, shit. I want that on a cake now. Oh, I'm sure you fucking do. Uh, how about you there, Jeremy? Oh, I think it's one you'd take to your neighbors that just says, I'm a registered sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's, that's, that's awesome. That's your way of telling them. Because sure. What are they going to do? Freak out when you brought them a fucking cake? <laughs> it's ice cream cake, too. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, when a new neighbor moves in, you make them a new cake. <laughs> Oh fuck! There goes there Clyde go. with a cake again. <laughs> you cover it so yeah, so they open it when they get in the house, and uh, so you don't have to look them in the eye. That's right. Just that's how s- I'm going to do it from now on. That's smart. <laughs> Just want to say welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Make you a cake. <laughs> oh, those are some cute kids. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm required by law to come up here and give you this cake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that should be. Oh, wait, you got any kids? <laughs> Just so you know, I give out full candy bars on Halloween. Oh, uh-huh. that's awful. Okay. Barely any razor blades. No, yep, that's right. Your kids got any hoop? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I teach basketball down at the rec center. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, last question. This is a fan question. This is at Irish underscore records. Uh, he wants to know, animals that did not make... I'm sorry. Animals that did not make it into the song, Old MacDonald had a farm. All right. Fuck. You've got the face. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a racist parrot, <laughs> E-I-E-I-O, <laughs> with <laughs> and a <laughs> here, there, everywhere, <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, oh, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, Jesus. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty a racist parrot. All right. <sighs> Gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> Probably so. Okay. I would like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just be over one long beep. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, no, because you got here a beep, there a beep, okay. everywhere a beep, beep. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I went... Uh, <clears throat> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, on his farm he had a lion, E-I-E-I-O, with a body here and a body there, there, a body there, a body, everybody where. Old MacDonald had a farm. All right. That's mine. You know, it's supposed to be the sounds they make, Scotty. Uh, the sound, sound of death, death roar. Jeremy. Yeah. The sound of death. Just death. That's it. Okay. Go ahead. Um, George Steele. <laughs> No, he's the animal. He yeah. is the animal. Yeah. He did he not make it the no, song. No, he didn't. Oh, my. I'm surprised. Yeah. Rob Schneider? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Son of a bitch. Now with, you got to sing the song. With a centaur here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody from the Delta house. <laughs> they didn't make it in. It was fucking, I mean, even Otter. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, all right. Well, those are our questions and preguntas. Again, if you do have any suggestions, uh, and if you're not already, follow us on TikTok at Laughing on the Sidelines. Also, follow us at, uh, we are still on Facebook, facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, And then I believe on Instagram, we are just at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines. So thank you for doing that. Uh, All right. Moving on to the draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to our draft. Who won last week? I believe that's me, but I forgot my trophy. Fuck. You can get one of these if you'd like to. They're, they're nice. Oh, no, no. I munch box, not pull. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's so mean. Uh, but thank you very much for going to Facebook.com and voting for your favorite list. Derek won last week. Uh, I was the sandwich, so I get the middle peak picks this week. Uh, Jeremy took up the rear. So you get first pick of this I week's did draft. not <laughs> take it up the rear. <laughs> you did take it up the rear. I didn't get fucking trained. <laughs> you got trained. Uh, but anyways, this... I got amtrak <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, so this week's draft is going to be our least favorite foods. Okay? Okay. Including condiments. You can do those. All right. Jeremy, you get first pick. Ooh, 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 I gotta make my list here. Well, you get second pick, so I know I got I gotta do her. But this is how I don't fuck up the order, is all. Okay, Jeremy, what is your least favorite food? Number one with a bullet. God 
Don't take it. I know it. I know Green it. beans. Oh, no, you didn't take it. Oh, you lose. You fucking lose. I can't believe you didn't take my pick. We hate this equally, and it will fucking give you a fucking coma. I, I don't know how you can say I lost, though. It is my least favorite food. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yes, and, sir. And I'm taking it. Uh, with my second pick, I am taking something that needs to be banned uh, forever, and that is coconut. It is a noxious weed. Whoa. I can't believe that. Whew. I'm honest about it, Scotty. I am too, but I thought that that was your worst and my worst, my least favorite. A hundred percent. Shocked me. Shocked me. Go ahead and go, Derek. You get a uh, a twofer. Black olives. Ooh, I like black. Really? Olives. I fucking hate them. Oh man. Oh, and you know black. You know yeah. my. You know my big one. Ranch. Yeah, that's true. Ranch dressing. I'm not going to win, but I don't give a fuck. I, if you give me those two things, you are going to wear them. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, so I'm kind of I'm kind of torn with this one. I, I really do hate them. Make uh, your fucking pick! No, no, no. Don't explain every no, one no. of them. No, no, no. You got to get... You got to here, build Here's up. the thing. I had this when I was four build years up. old gotta, in a strain gotta, version. You got to build But ever up. since that, my palate hasn't been able to mm. quite take it. Now, there's many brands of this type of food, and it's grown in many different various regions. But, you know, I think with a wholehearted number two pick, which is the one after my number one, because as we all know, my number one is coconut. And they put coconut in candy, and I'm just not a big sweet guy, but I kind of like candy. But anyway, back to my story. This is by far more interesting than Scotty has (laughs) ever been with anything. I was actually kind of uh, enjoying that. You you ever thought about doing books on tape? (laughs) Thought about it. I'd like to see it. Okay. Or hear it, more to the point. Mm. You, you done? Oh, I, was, I thought you were done. No. Oh, okay. I'm taking onions. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing is, is I like onion rings. Cause hoops, they, Scotty. Cause onion hoops. Onion hoops, I apologize. Onion hoops. Uh, <laughs> so that means that... Uh, is that Jeremy? Yeah. You get two in a row, dude. Uh, green beans with cheese on them. <laughs> <laughs> So cheese then is what you want, right? Um, no, I like cheese. <laughs> cheese makes likes everything better. Fucking cheese. Uh, let's see. Well, fuck. You took onions, so um, mm-hmm. I am going to go with strawberries. Oh, really? I fucking hate strawberries. Oh, you slut! Wow. Strawberries can bite my balls. This is interesting here. Okay, and you get one more. And here's here's the weird thing, because I got stories. Mm-hmm. We can all tell stories. You I, should tell a story. I think it makes it more interesting. I do like strawberry-flavored things. Yeah, that's fucking S- ridiculous. Strawberry milk, strawberry soda, mm-hmm. strawberry ice cream without fucking strawberries in it. But okay. fucking strawberry can suck my asshole. Okay, that's fair. All right. Okay. And I'm going to go with uh, broccoli. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I can I can understand that. It's weird that you thought that I needed you to understand that. I, I'm just saying I agree with you on that one. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. All the right. The only thing I want you to agree with is that you should stop talking. I'm going to go with mayonnaise. Mayo can go fuck itself. Yes, it can. Mm-hmm. Derek. I don't know if you'll let me take this one or not. I'll try. The, uh, the veggie trays. The, those where they give you like raw carrots, no, raw. Oh, that's nah, multiple. You gotta, pick one, you gotta pick one of those. Okay, fuck raw carrots. Okay, raw carrots. And if you want to take another thing on that thing, cooked carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate carrots, dude. I do too. I do too. Uh, I like them. I like them raw though. Celery. Okay. Really? How can you be anything but indifferent to celery? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's eating stupid. crunchy water. It's I, I don't like it. I okay. mean, I don't like it. I don't hate it. It's just there. Okay. It's on the veggie tray. So I have I suppose, something yeah. that if I, if I smell it, I will throw up, uh, and that is canned tuna. I'm out. Derek, you get two. No, I don't. Jeremy gets two. I'm sorry. Jeremy gets two. See, this is why I have the list. I got to make the list. 
You get two, Jeremy. Are, are you done with lists? Yeah, you, I got a list. Okay, I got a list. I, I, I you can, know, I first I started, started making lists. You want to start Christmas a list? Time. I got a list. You want to read the list? Nope. See if any of your picks are uh, Nope. Okay. First, I'm just gonna keep on talking, just because uh, I uh, started making a list around Christmas time mm-hmm. whenever I was a boy. See, it's a funny thing about lists, and, and <laughs> people who don't know what lists are, that's where you take things and you organize them in in a particular order. And now Joe list, not to get sidetracked, mm. fantastic comedian. Yes, he is. I said lisp. I'm, I'm going to go top five most underrated comedians in the world, Joe List. He's he's maybe the funniest guy nobody ever heard of. Okay. I said lisp, though. That's a lisp. You don't like the gays. Okay. <laughs> got it. Okay. Mark, that, the, mark yeah. that down with the minorities. Okay. What you got, Jeremy? You got two. Ass. <laughs> um, Ass is not a food. Can hoop, be. Hoop. Hoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sound uh, like an Arsenio show. Ah, walnuts. Mm. Fucking hate walnuts. Oh, walnuts. They're on the wall, and they're nuts. Uh, and your last pick, coleslaw. Fuck. You suck. Ugh. Slaw is bullshit. Yes, it is. Okay. It is it is mayonnaise <laughs> but on <laughs> cabbage. With with bullshit vegetables. It's got cabbage, carrots, and mayonnaise. Yeah. Three of my fucking least favorite things. <laughs> yep. Uh I'm gonna end my uh final pick and I'm gonna take raw tomatoes. Okay. That's it. Derek's got one more, doesn't he? Yeah. He doesn't really need one. He's not going to win. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead, and I know I'm weird for not liking it, kind of like Jeremy with strawberries. I hate cherries. Cherry anything. It's not, okay, cherry flavored or the actual raw cherries? I hate cherry flavored more than I hate raw cherries. Really? Okay. I I just, that's what I needed to clarify, because the cherry Jolly Rancher is fucking fire. (laughs) No, that's a different Jolly Rancher altogether. Oh, that's a fire one? Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. yeah. That's Dumbass. cinnamon. That's, that's a cinnamon that's Jolly cinnamon. Rancher. That's a cinnamon yeah. one. No, uh, I'm with you on like the raw cherries and, and the cherry, like the fake cherries that I don't Oof. have a seed in it. Oh, fuck. No, I'm out. You don't like a maraschino? No. Those uh, are the only actual cherries that I'll eat. Um, when I was in Las Vegas one time, uh, I was with Matt mm-hmm. and our friend Jamie. And there was, there's this place... There's a few different locations all throughout Vegas, and I think they have them other places. But they are, uh, it's called Fat Tuesdays, mm-hmm. where they basically sell booze slushies. Ugh. That's basically, mm-hmm. you know, frozen yeah. drinks uh, with booze in them. But they had um, maraschino cherries that had been soaking in Everclear. Oh, fuck. There's no cherry left in, in that when you eat it. I'm sure. That is pure Everclear. And it's so fucking weird because all logic would tell you as you're watching somebody eat it, just like, fuck, swallow it. Just get it over with. Your body will not let you. <laughs> and so you just sit there holding it in your fucking mouth. just like, oh, God, because you don't want to be the one guy who pusses out. All right. And they had SpongeBob's, they called them, which was a fucking hunk of pineapple soaked in vodka. Ooh, I'd love that. I hate pineapple. I love pineapple. But if it's anything like these fucking cherries, you wouldn't ever know it was pineapple. It would just be fucking a different vessel to get vodka in your mouth. Scotty likes pineapple because it makes my jizz taste good. No. I believe Jamie actually fell on the ground because <laughs> it was like so strong. But we kept ordering them. <laughs> just cause they were like two for a dollar. <laughs> What the fuck are we watching? Years, years ago, I had a buddy of mine that's where we were. I worked at a bar a long time ago. It was a bowling alley with the bar attached inside. And uh, he told the cook he'd give him like 10 bucks if he took his burger and dipped it in 151. And he did. Hmm. And he's like, well, here's your 10 bucks. And he said, dude, I, after that for like three days, he said all he tasted was 151. Because uh-huh. <laughs> it's in that bread. The bread stuck to his teeth. Uh-huh. And he's just like, oh, fuck. He said it was the worst decision he's ever made in his life. And the fucking, yeah, it's the alcohol that uh, Richard Pryor burned himself up with. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
I'm, I'm sitting here captivated. What the fuck are we watching? Wipeout, it looks like. Oh, oh, like the American version of the Japanese crazy deal? It's sponsored by Charmin. <laughs> okay, cool. It's that kind of Wipeout. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call, excuse me, the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Let It Goes. That's right, Scotty. You know, on uh, April 2nd, 1979, that is uh, one day right after April Fool's, uh, a Soviet military research facility in Sverdlovsk. <laughs> oh, come on. Right. You know this. <laughs> Sverdlovsk? I- I've never heard of this town. Sverdlovsk. Uh, Russia experienced a malfunction in their air, air filtration system. As a result of the malfunction, a very large plume of genetically altered anthrax spores were thrown oh. up into the fucking air. Um, now, we it basically went into the town. Uh, it killed almost all of the local livestock population. And uh, because them use, developing... Uh, biological warfare weapons, they kept this shit kind of under wraps. So we don't know the actual official death toll of people. Um, we know for a fact at least 66, but it's speculated that probably thousands died from this. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. <laughs> Legos! Have some fun, comrades. <laughs> How would they create the anthrax, Jeremy? With Legos. Lego blocks. Anthrax sold separately. Listen, Scotty, that would involve <laughs> developing weapons for biological warfare, and I'm not going to tell you. Okay, that's fine. Of course I know how to. <laughs> sure. I'm just not going to tell you. you gotta I'm not going to tell you. This is for children. you got to use their imagination, right? Yes. Okay. Of all course. Right. Fair enough. It all starts with imagination. That's right. Okay. Lesson learned, kids. Yep. All right. So, Jesus Christ, this week's shitty situation of the week is, would you rather inherit a racist parrot that you have to take care of, can't let it go, or would you have to have, or would you have to bake a cake a sex offender reveal cake for every new neighbor that moves on your block. Hmm. Shit. I got mine. We already know you're racist. Go for it. I, I'm taking the racist parrot. Yeah. Yeah, we figured. Yeah. I'm taking the racist parrot. I'm locking it up in a cage and I'm putting it in the fucking basement with all of the other kids. <laughs> okay. Okay. Never see the light of day. Jeremy? Um. I am also going with the parrot, uh, and it's not because, you know, I would have a problem telling people if I was a sex offender. I mean, maybe you got some sexy kids. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, my God. But the the racist parrot, I feel like I can, even at old ages, can still be taught some new racist terms. <laughs> <laughs> and with an Asian in the house... <laughs> We can really have some fun, but most of all, the idea of parting with cake is just fucking so painful to me. I don't think I could do it. I want that fucking cake, and I don't care what it says on it. (laughs) All right. Derek, I'm going to go with cake, and I'm going to tell you why. Oh, my God. Our friend Ginger Crush lives in a, a neighborhood where on Halloween candy, he spends over $500. Holy shit. Kids from all around the city go to his street to trick-or-treat. I would never have to buy Halloween candy again. You're not allowed to turn your porch light on. Oh, my. Yeah. Is that true? That's true. Oh, my God. I believe you're not allowed to turn your porch light on if you are a registered sex offender. Oh, yeah. Now, granted, you may not even be registered making this cake, but... I guarantee you, word's going to get around. You don't go to that house. Is it because it brings bugs? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want little guys getting bit by mosquitoes. No. No way, dude. There's no way I could do that. I, I would go with the cake. Uh, every, I don't like kids anyway. It just that, keeps them away more. This is true, but they would think that you are like, 
Like, what's worse? Let's say that somebody sees the parrot that's locked in my dungeon in, in, in you know, the studio down here. Um, what would be worse? Uh, openly telling people that you are basically a sex offender or thinking that you're a racist. Which I know. They're, worse? Both, they're both fucking horrible. <laughs> they're fucking terrible. But one involves cake. The thing is, is that... At least if you find out, like, ah, oh, God, that guy's a pervert. But fuck, he made me a cake. Oh. Yes. You know what I mean? It's that like is a instead nice of, gesture. Instead of that guy, God, that guy's a racist piece of shit. Yes. Mm. You have to pretend to be racist because they're going to hear it from your fucking bird because those things are loud. <laughs> can, I, can I make a racist cake if I have the parrot? <laughs> and, and nobody's going to think you just got it that way. No. They're going to believe you taught it that. <laughs> yeah. I got to go with the cake. And parrots live like 60 years. Jesus Christ. Because, I mean, yes, while that will keep children off your block, we all know what Derek's sex crime really is. He, Munching he, hoop. He munches hoop <laughs> too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just because you're on that list doesn't mean you're necessarily a, a child fucker. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, that's that's actually a good point. In fact, I'd like to take a minute to defend people on the registered <laughs> sex offender list. <laughs> Actually, one guy had told me the story, uh, I believe, at my previous job, not at the, just at one of my previous jobs, not at the baseball stadium. But he said that uh, one of his friends was on the list. Mm -hmm. And it was because he had had sex when he was 18 and his girlfriend was 16. I was just getting ready to bring that up. And his parents were pissed. Her parents. Her parents were pissed. Right. Because they, they found out they were having sex. They called the police. He got arrested for statutory rape. He's on the list. They're married now. So whenever he goes to a job interview, he actually carries a copy of the court case and everything so he can say, hey, look, here's the deal. This is what happened. We're married. So there's, there is there are circumstances to that situation. And I bet that fucker can bake his ass off by now. <laughs> <laughs> That that is true, and that friend is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, really? is that true? Oh, wow, man, that's incredible. Yeah, no, that I, th- I I may be changing my answer here. So I'm going with the cake. I think I'm going with the cake too, especially if it, if you can say that that's the actual situation. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying. Doesn't mean you're just a kid fucker. No, it doesn't mean that. But goddamn pedophiles! Uh, oh, I know. Worst worst human beings on the face of the planet. Mm-hmm. I mean, really. Pedophiles and Cardi B fans, two worst. Two worst. That's top two right there. One are and they, two. Are pedophiles that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Compared to Cardi B fans? Yeah. I mean, come on, well, guys. I Let's have some fucking. I didn't a say. Bit yeah, of, you, get, you get a cake and it just says uh, WAP <laughs> on the cake. <laughs> You're like, ah, we got to fucking move. Yeah. Yeah, that sure. cake's going right in the fucking trash. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, you know what uh, it would be? Yeah. It, it'd be a fucking German chocolate cake with fucking <laughs> coconut all over the top of it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to listening to this week's episode. We sincerely do appreciate it. Do we have any shows coming up, Derek? No, I just did four. So. Did four? Okay. Uh, well, that's November 17th. I'll be yes. in the semifinals. Yeah, there you go. I was going to ask, how do you vote for other people for that? <laughs> you, know? you do exactly what you've been doing scotty don't show up okay i just want to make sure i just you, want to make sure it after this it's going to be actual judges no that, it's uh like there are a few judges well, and there's, there's like six alternates yeah six by applause i think and then 12 right. by judge having been a judge in that contest i can tell you that audience response is one of the categories you're supposed to rate mm-hmm. them on okay yep all right well so come out root me on and Maybe Scotty will bake you a cake. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, thank and you. Scotty guys. hates cake. I do hate cake <laughs> almost as much as he hates. Never mind. <laughs> Which by, can I just say? And I racist parrots. That's I, what he was going to say. I want to just say this, and I want to petition at least our local government that the hatred of cake should be a sex offense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you should shit. have to go on the list. I love Rice Krispie treats, though. I don't give a fuck what you okay. like. I want you Damn. on that list. All right. You well, look like fine. a fucking perv. I don't, when's the last time you beard. checked the list? You might be on it. No, no, I'm not on it. Well, you're on my shit list, motherfucker. For, no, but I mean, how many of us? That's actually a good question. Uh, does, uh, we, we, did you ever have a girlfriend that was two, year, two years younger than you? Yeah. And slept with her when you were 18 and she was 16? Did not do that. Okay. But I did have one that when I was 18 and she was 
one at when I was eighteen and seventeen and eighteen and sixteen. I had eighteen. And, I did. I had eighteen and sixteen, but I never slept with it. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Either. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, guys, that seemed like an important thing to put in the show. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much uh, for help supporting the podcast. You do that by commenting, liking, and sharing our it's videos. It's been fun having you on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're a sex offender, call in next week. No joke. Somehow the internet is going to shut us down after this. <laughs> Let us know how you got on the list. <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, but anyways, guys, keep doing what you're doing. DM Scotty the photos no. of how you got on the list. No, please don't. Or at least a, I don't um, want a, a good likeness, a, a recreation, yeah. maybe. No. And, and do that at his work email. No, that is no. Scotty. Hey, hey, yo, bro. <laughs> Have yo. the pictures put on a cake and send it to Scotty. <laughs> At his work. Oh, uh, but shit. If you haven't uh, followed us on our all of our platforms, again, on YouTube, we're at Laughing on the Sidelines. Uh, it actually helps if you watch the videos. Uh, it's much more entertaining. And by the way, if you like our content, we can't put it all up on TikTok for F- shit like what's on this episode. So if you like us on TikTok, go and watch us uh, the, watch the whole episode or listen to the whole episode on uh, YouTube.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines or any podcast platform out there. Guys, thank you guys so very much. And if you like us, do us a favor, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope you get ran over by an exercise bike. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag callback. If you don't like us... Uh, tell your enemies. And until next time... Puffy, America's first choice. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see you later. Take care.